New Orleans East residents are breathing a sign of relief today that they no longer have to boil their water. The rest of the East Bank got the all clear Friday evening, but the celebration, it didn't last long now that the Sewage and Water Board is asking residents to conserve water. Lauren Bale picks up that story. The boil water advisory was lifted just in time for the Marley Gras Jerk Chicken Festival to go on without a hitch tonight. And it was done, ate some great food and got excited, ready to come here uh, today and have a great festival. The band played on and festival goers appreciated the simple things in life. Today I had my first shower in three days and it was excellent. I was really happy about that. But the celebration was short lived. You could do the city itself, your neighbors, uh, a huge favor by really limiting your water use. The Sewage and Water Board says burst pipes combined with the entire city dripping their faucets put too much strain on the aging system. As a result, we'll now need to conserve water or risk another boil water advisory. Try to stay away from laundry, try to stay away from uh, dishwashers. I don't think that sewage and water board was readily prepared for the weather. I really think they need to fix the root of the problem. If they would just do the overhaul and go and fix all of the pipes and all of the underlying issues, then we wouldn't have to conserve so much water. Despite the inconvenience, residents capped off the night enjoying some of the things that keep them calling this city home. It's frustrating, but it's worth it to live in New Orleans, I think. <laughs> in New Orleans, Lauren Bale, Eyewitness News. And the Sewage and Water Board is asking that you hold off on doing laundry, washing dishes, or taking long showers until the end of the weekend. So we are almost there.